Hey, what's up guys? Marcus from Heel Toe Automotive and I just got a couple of parts in the shop. I thought I would show them to you really quick since I think it might answer some questions that y'all might have about J-Series flywheels. Okay, here we are. I just got this Luke clutch in. That is Luke, not Luck. Uh, this flywheel came in for a customer uh, who's just basically looking for a new stock replacement flywheel. A lot of people recognize this brand as being the uh, OEM brand. A lot of people with German cars do actually. These are actually made in Germany. Uh, and this flywheel, oh my God. Uh, this is uh, what's called a dual mass flywheel, right? So the reason why it's called that is because it's actually got a separate, um, this hub section in the backing plate is separate from the top friction surface. And there's actually like a sprung effect that happens in here. Uh, the standard clutch for a J series is actually a rigid hub disc, um, which a lot of clutch discs you'll recognize actually have sprung hub in it because most flywheels aren't dual mass like this one is. Uh, so there's usually some kind of damping in the uh, clutch system and in a dual mass flywheel that damping happens within the flywheel itself. Now over here we've got an Osco Motorsports flywheel. Now this one is a performance flywheel. It's a billet part, all one piece, right? Um, and it's significantly lighter than the, uh, the Luke OEM one. Let's get this uh, magazine out of here. So you can see that these are actually for the same application, um, uh, but this one is a billet flywheel. So there's no damping in this flywheel. And it's pretty typical that you would use a clutch disc that has springs in it with this flywheel. Um, you don't have to, but you certainly could. You could use a completely stock rigid hub disc flywheel uh, di clutch with this flywheel, and you'll have a very responsive ride. Just needs a little bit more slipping to get off the line. But basically that's the difference between a dual mass which is actually like two piece flywheel versus a billet one, or a lot of people call it single mass. I don't really call it single mass. It's just a, a billet part. Uh, so let's see what the weight difference is on this. If we take this over oh God, to the shipping scale, the uh, Luke OEM flywheel comes in at just over 30 pounds. All right, comes with a pilot bearing and everything, just like the Osco one has a has a pilot bearing much lighter so we went from 30 pounds down to yeah just over 15 it's like half the weight um, now when you take all that weight off of the crankshaft you're going to get faster revving much better engine response right and then also because this is an aluminum wheel versus steel this is going to shed heat a lot more quickly than the steel one is. This has higher heat capacity. This will hold more heat, but it doesn't get rid of it quite as fast as the aluminum one does. So and that's why what you have here is this heat shield surface on here. The steel does uh, take and absorb the heat uh, with a greater amount of uh, resilience than the aluminum does. So they put this heat shield on, which we also call it a friction surface, to uh, insulate the aluminum flywheel from that clutch heat. Um, also, these are replaceable. Uh, we can get new uh, friction surfaces for them or heat shields for them. This is a permanent flywheel solution. They also come in at quite a bit less money most of the time. The Luke replacements versus the actual Acura ones are way, way cheaper. And so we do sell these Luke ones uh, to people that just want a new flywheel that don't necessarily want to spend the money on an Acura one. But uh, more and more people are buying these because uh, not only for the little bit of cost savings, but the added performance. So definitely a big seller right here. Something else to note, this little ring that comes with the Osco flywheel is what they call a torque plate, right? So this goes on here and then you tighten the bolts down on top of it. This is not a spacer. We've had people throw these on the back side of the crank, have thrust washer issues, um, start blaming the clutch for all kinds of problems. So you'll see like, people dogging on different clutches like clutch masters or whatever because they put this behind the flywheel instead of 
right here where it's supposed to be. And we did have one customer who had a clearance issue with the sprung pack that he got on here with an accelerate clutch. And one of the things that they decided to do was take this out. Uh, the springs were hitting the flywheel bolts. And if that happens, you can actually take this out. You don't really need to have this. I mean, if, if you're racing, if you're like an off-road buggy, drag racing, whatever, this is probably a good idea to have this. But if you're just a street driver, you don't really need to have this. And it will give you a little bit more clearance on those flywheel bolts. So yeah, Luke Performance, well, I guess Luke anyway, um, and Osco Motorsports are really great brands for us here at Heel Toe. If you uh, see a flywheel that's got that Luke name on it, whether it comes in a Honda box, an Exidy box, or a Luke box, it's all pretty much the same exact part. You're gonna get the best deal buying the Luke branded item on the Heel Toe website, uh, or go with an Osco Motorsports. Uh, okay, so that's a bunch about J-Series flywheels. If you have any questions on either one of these things, let us know. We have pretty quick access to either one of them most of the time. Although you shouldn't be surprised if there might be like a week or two delay. Uh, if you've got a clutch job coming up, get your parts ahead of time. Go ahead and uh, leave us a comment below, ask us about stock at the time, or send us a message through the website, heeltoeauto.com. Uh, we're always here in your corner, trying to give you the best information to get the best parts in your Honda and Acura. Go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you later the next time we get a really cool part in here to share with you.